Hi, my name is Officer Santos, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Nice to meet you, officer. How long was the wait time for you? It was about 30 minutes. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passports, and a form of ID? Yes. Just hold them up so that I can see them. Okay, here they are. You can put them away now. Can you raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. You can put your hand down. Thank you. Did anyone help you fill out this application? Yes, my spouse helped me. What is your complete name? Elizabeth Ramos Gonzalez. What other names have you used? Liz Ramos Gonzalez. Are you going to change your name? Yes, I would like to remove my second last name. State your name as you would like it to be. Elizabeth Ramos. What is your date of birth? November 28, 1989. Where were you born? I was born in Colombia. Can I see your birth certificate with the English translation, please? Yes, here it is. Thank you. What is your current address? 1110 East Washington Street, Orlando, Florida. How long have you lived at this address? For six years. Can I see a valid proof of address? Yes, here it is. Okay. What is your previous address? 149 West 18th Street, Miami, Florida. Where do you work? I work for the school district. How long have you worked at your job? For five years. What are some of your job duties? I helped with planning and scheduling. Are your parents U.S. citizens? Yes, my father is. Were they married before your 18th birthday? Yes, they were. How long have you been a permanent resident? For nine years. How did you become a permanent resident? My father petitioned me. Do you have children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two children. What are your children's names and their ages? Eric is seven and Mariah is three. Please hand me the birth certificates for your children. Okay, here they are. Thank you. Give me one moment. ¿Qué tal cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Ok. Let's continue with the interview. What is your relationship with your children? I am the biological parent of my children. 
Do you have any children that live outside of the United States? No. Are you married? Yes. What is your spouse's name? Jose Luis Ramos. When did you get married? That was on February 14th, 2018. Do you have the marriage certificate with you? If you can show it to me, please. Okay, here it is. Thank you. How many times have you been married? Two times. Have you ever been divorced? Yes. Can you show me the documents from that divorce? Here they are. Okay. Have you traveled out of the United States since you submitted this application? No. When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? That was on January 15th, 2023. Where did you go? I traveled to Colombia. Who traveled with you? My spouse and my children. When did you return? I returned on January 25th, 2023. Okay. In the last five years, how many trips have you taken out of the United States? Five trips in total. On any of these trips, have you spent more than six months in a year outside of the United States? No. In the last five years, how many total days have you spent outside of the United States? 50 days in total. What is one thing you plan on doing if you become a U.S. citizen? Apply for my U.S. passport. For this next part of the interview, I am going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six of them correctly. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. In what month do we vote for president? November. Who was the first president? George Washington. Okay, great. Now, please read the following sentence. What was the first state? Okay, now please write the following sentence. Delaware was the first state of the United States. Delaware was the first state of the United States. Delaware was the first state of the United States. Excellent. You approved both parts of the interview, the civics test and the reading and writing test. Now I'm just going to do general questions, answer yes or no. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. 
Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Uh, do you now have or do you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or being confined into a mental institution? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Okay. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associate either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. Any other totalitarian party? No. A terrorist organization? No. Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted either directly or indirectly any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, the you worked for or associated in any way either directly or indirectly with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Okay, I'm going to give you a group of questions. Just answer yes or no when I'm finished with all of them, okay? Okay. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. No to all of them? Okay. Were you ever a member of or that you ever served in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? I'm going to give you a list of groups and you just answer at the end yes or no. Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilant unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. No. No? Correct. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or that you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Again, it's a group of questions. Prisoner jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay? No to all of them. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that use a weapon against any person or threaten to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or support people in combat? No. Have you ever committed, assisted, and committed while attempting committed in a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? This includes immigration officers. No. Okay. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisted in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an attorney sentencing or rehabilitated program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed in probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Again, I'm going to give you a group of questions. Have you ever been a habitual drunker, been a prostitute, or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, marry someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, help anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gamble illegally or receive income from illegal gambling, fail to support your dependents or to pay alimony, 
made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No to all of them. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Uh, do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance of the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Yes. Okay. Congratulations. You have approved your citizenship interview. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.